Welcome to Raising Happy and Thriving Gifted Kids, a daily podcast where you get relatable stories, interesting lessons and practical tips to help your kids thrive and be happy while enjoying your own life even more. I was tutoring a student and he was learning Spanish for the first time and in Spanish he had to learn these new grammar constructs. He had to learn how to talk in the future tense. So the assignment simply said, you know, translate to the future tense the following com- couple of sentences. And he got stuck there. Even though he got like straight A's in, in English and, you know, his grammar was perfect, he was not able to translate anything into English. And the reason why is simply because he had never consciously learned how to speak English. And because he never consciously learned that, because his natural ability to learn was so high... He pretty much was flawless in English from the get-go as a really, really long, young student. So when there would be English classes explaining all these grammar rules and all that kind of stuff, he simply didn't care because he was already getting straight A's anyway. So why learn all kinds of weird techniques for something you're already getting straight A's at? But then when he had to go to a different language, in this case Spanish, and he had to apply these grammar constructs that other kids usually have learned and mastered like way earlier, he simply had never heard of them. And now he had a gap in his knowledge because now he couldn't actually fulfill the assignments he had to do. But, you know, smart kid he was, he was able to kind of like fudge his way through, get a B, get a C sometimes, but not really know what was going on. And he was hoping that he would catch up later, but things would just get more and more complicated. So this is one of the cases where there is a knowledge gap. There's a gap in the stack of knowledge. Sometimes there's like a very logical progression of learning something. First you learn to add, you know, two numbers, and then you learn how to multiply them. Um, Because multiplication simply is, you know, (laughs) a lot of addition. Three times three is the same as three plus three plus three. But then... You get, for instance, you know, calculating 2 to the power of 3, which is basically 2 times 2 times 2, which is, again, a very complicated form of addition. But if you miss the second step, if you've never learned how to do multiplications, it's almost impossible to learn, you know, how to calculate the 2 to the power of 2 or 3 or 4, and especially when it gets more complicated. And this I see happen with quite a number of gifted kids, because the Initial materials are way too easy, way too boring, and really do not provide even close to enough challenge. They kind of zone out, they tune out, and they don't really put a lot of effort into learning the materials. But then, you know, somewhere along the way, they kind of like miss a couple of points, but their grade averages are way high enough, so they don't really get a problem with that. But only like, you know, they struggle with chapter four, they struggle with chapter five, but they still get like A's and like maybe high B's. Um, But then when they get to chapter six and seven, that's when, you know, they start struggling. And when that happens, what they will inevitably do uh, to fix that is redo chapter seven over and over and over again. But it's impossible to learn chapter seven without understanding chapters three, four, five, and six. So having these knowledge gaps based on like automation of multiplication table, learning the spelling rules, um, just missing the whole concept of mathematics. Um, This is one of the reasons that as a result of all the other challenges, like even if you solve all the other ones, you get them motivated, they deal with frustration tolerance, they know how to do focus work, they're collaborating, they're, you know, using their memories, they have a growth mindset. Now they're still stuck with a baggage, um, a baggage of missing knowledge. And sometimes it's as simple as, you know, you have a problem with chapter seven, can you quickly run me through chapters three, four, five, and six? What were the concepts and did you understand them? Because sometimes the, the problem isn't in the present. The problem is in the past and you need to kind of go back and figure out where they lost track and how they can fix that. Because the fudge factor is going to mess them up every single time. When I was a student, I got like Latin, like in the Netherlands, we get a crazy amount of uh, languages. And I actually even went to a high school focused on languages, even though my memory really was bad when I was going to high school. Um, But yeah, so in the first two, three years, I didn't pay any attention in grammar because I was actually kind of able to, based on intelligence, kind of like fudge my way through it. 
and still get decent grades. And because of that, I really never learned the proper grammar rules, never learned like the, the, the proper vocabulary. And because I didn't, I had to keep fudging and fudging. But, but if you add fudging on top of fudging, on top of fudging, you're not going to make it anymore. At some point, you just need like the basic knowledge that everybody needs. So where are their knowledge gaps? Where is your kid struggling, failing because they have not learned the simple basics, the basic mechanics they need to go on to more elaborate, more complex stuff because their desire for flow, their desire for challenge makes that they easily gloss over the simple stuff. Um, even though that, you know, is where the basis is, you know, the foundation is laid for more complex stuff later on. So always when you see a kid struggling at some point, make sure to go back one or two steps to make sure the foundation is there. If you liked this episode of Raising Happy and Thriving Kids, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast in your favorite podcast software. And if you want to dive deeply into all the things you can do to help your kids thrive, be happier while making your own life more enjoyable, go to smartparentingsecrets.com where you can get free additional training. Hope you enjoyed this episode and as always, bring out the best in yourself and each other.